What is up YouTube? Welcome to my series on VCV Rack. Today I'm going to be showing you a technique of mixing two of the techniques that I've showed you in previous episodes to create more variation in your sequences. And it's something that I've picked up on a lot of the modular guys, the way they write a lot of their sort of longer melodies and longer arpeggiator lines is using a similar technique to this. So what I'm basically going to be doing is mixing the two concepts of mixing modulation sources and quantizing the CV. So let's dive into the patch and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if you've been following along, you know kind of what the, the patch sounds like. So I'm not going to go into detail as to kind of showing you a before after kind of effect. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to create a new SEQ3. So what I want to do is I want to create a new sequencer. And what I want to use the sequencer for is for the slower elements in the track. So I want to use the sequencer to control the CV of that pad that we created in the previous episode. And I also want to use it to uh, control the CV of the bass line or the sort of arpeggiator line that we created. And I want to use it to modulate up and down slowly over the bars. So if you're not following, have a look and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let's create a Bifaco mixer over here. So let's send row one, uh, instead of straight into the quantize, let's send it into number one of the mixer and let's send the output into quantize. Row one of the second sequencer that we made, send to the second input over here. So now if we turn this up, we're gonna get full CV of our first sequence through to quantize, right? Now what we wanna do is we wanna clock this sequencer three over here to let's say for example, a whole note. So now it's gonna move along much slower than this sequence. And what this is gonna allow us to do is to create kind of like chord changes in the ARP pattern. First things first, I'm gonna change this to four steps just because it's gonna get a bit crazy um, to control with too many steps. And yeah, let's unmute this and play around a little bit and see what we can come up with. Now what we can do is we can create, uh, using the second row, we can uh, use that to control the CV of the pad that we created in the previous episode or in the episode before that actually. Just so it's not so random, you know, we've got more of a controlled way of creating that sort of pad, but then using the attenuverter, we can quickly sweep through a bunch of different variations of that sound. So let's have a listen to what I'm talking about.
Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you haven't yet, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. See you guys next time.